Hey guys, it's Michelle. We're here at our first episode of San Francisco Stair Workouts. We're going to visit a bunch of San Francisco's iconic stairs and do a standard workout using our calves, our quads, and our core. And you can follow along at home if you have stairs. You can go to any public set of stairs that you want to. Or you can just watch the video for inspiration. And next time you see a set of stairs, you can try some of these exercises out. All right, hope you enjoy it. What I like to start out with is just a straight run up and down the stairs. If you don't want to run, you can block. And if you're walking and you want an extra challenge, you can skip stairs. These stairs in particular, the lower ones, are kind of shallow. So it's up to you if you skip stairs to get a little more quad work. You can also take it uh, small steps and just warm it up that way. So straight run up, straight run down. Remember, don't forget to stay six feet apart. After the straight run up and straight run down, I like to take it to little box jumps. You can start with one stair at a time. If you're not comfortable or haven't done this before, you can hold on to the railing on the side. Make sure you don't fall. Once you're comfortable with the railing, slowly skip steps. If you want an extra challenge, you start with skipping one step. If you want to skip two, depending on how your calves and quads are feeling, go for it. Um, just remember what number you've planned to skip and be consistent so you don't get confused partway through the stairs and trip. The worst thing you want to do is fall backwards on the stairs, so if you are going to trip or feel yourself falling, lean forward, catch yourself with your hands. exercise I like doing on these stairs is a walking stair skip. You're going to skip one stair, taking a wide step up. You're going to use your glutes and the back of your leg to do a leg lift with the leg that's not stepping on the stair. Just use those glutes to bring it up. You're pointing that toe, bringing the sole of your foot towards the sky. As you reach the top of the stairs, you're going to see a flat street. You're going to cross over, across that street, you'll see another flight of stairs. Go up that set of stairs, and that's going to lead you to the base of some stairs that you're going to see, the foot of a different mountain. This mountain takes you to the top of a summit called Grand View Park. Up there, the view is really grand. As you almost get to the top of Grand View Park, about three quarters of the way up, you're gonna reach a green bench with a great view of um, Ocean Beach. From that bench, you can do dips. Now, I didn't have a tripod. I was kinda trying to hold my phone up with some of the railings here, so sorry, the view wasn't so great. You can get some dips in. You can use this bench for push-ups. You can also use this bench for modified pistol squats, which will look the same as dips from this angle. You'll just be lifting one leg at a time, so keeping one foot on the ground and one leg up, coming down and up. You can do push-ups using the bench to lift you higher if they're hard for you. And if you want an extra challenge, turn around, put your feet on the bench, do push-ups with your toes on the bench at an incline, and you'll have your arms on the ground. These push-ups are gonna put a little more gravity into the core, putting pressure on your core, pressure in your abs, a little more weight in the shoulders. <laughs> 